G'day guys, it's Fraser here from the Greg Chapel Cricket Centre. Today I'm going to run you through a couple of differences between styling in the cricket batting gloves. Now, uh, we do get a lot of questions um, about the different styling and how they're cut and sausage fingers, split fingers, V-splits, all that sort of stuff. So today I'm going to give you a bit of a rundown and a quick explanation of each um, to determine the differences between the few. Now, keep in mind, cricket gloves, um, it all comes down to personal preference, so it depends what feels good in your hand at the end of the day. Now, we'll start off here. This is the Kaboom glove. Uh, it's a sausage finger glove, so if we have a look at it, um, you're going to guess where the name sausage finger comes from. They look like sausages. So what this glove does, it's, it's an old school player shaped glove. Um, uh, it's believed to offer some of the most protection in a cricket glove because when you bend the glove, there's no splits that open up at all. So that's your traditional sausage finger. A lot of them now are pre-moulded like this to enhance flexibility. We'll now go on to probably one of the most popular ones that we stock at the Greg Chapel Cricket Centre. And this is what we either call the block or the split finger glove. Now the beauty about these in comparison with the sausage finger is they gen generally offer a little bit more flexibility. And that's because the amount of splits in them. So if you open them up like this, you can see that they're a lot more flexible than the sausage finger we've got there. There's not as many splits in them, but like I said, again, it comes down to personal preference. So this one, the theory behind that is, apart from it's flexible, is it doesn't quite offer as much protection because when you open up, some of the padding is exposed. So there is a, another glove, which we call a V-split, that uh, counters for, for both of those. Now. This is the flagship glove, the Legend by Gray Nichols. This is one of the best examples of a V-split glove that you'll ever see. Now you can see it's sort of that sausage roundish sort of a shape, but it's got splits in it. Now with these splits, they don't open up like these ones do and expose that large gap. They've actually got a V that cuts in, so they don't open as much, and they give more protection to the hand in those splits. Now. Um, the past couple of years we've seen a few hybrid gloves that are, that do, are doing a mixture of both sausage, V, block, etc. Um, that are really good and very comfortable as well. I've got a couple of examples here. So this is the E41 Oblivion by Grey Nichols. We'll see we've got the two leading fingers that are a sausage, so there's plenty of protection on them there. And we've got the V splits running down the side. Another one here, the Power Bow. We've got the V splits in the leading finger and at the caps to offer more protection there. And then we've got the block split style further up the top in the fingers to offer more protection. So there's a couple of differences, a couple of easy ways to determine between the different gloves. Um, to be honest, these days you can't really go wrong. The gloves have improved that much. Back in the day, um, sausage finger were considered by far the best protection. But now with the materials that they've got going into the gloves, even split fingers, block fingers, etc., offer a hell of a lot of protection and all very comfortable. At the end of the day, it all comes down to what fits, what's comfortable, and what you like. Thanks for watching, guys, and make sure you subscribe. And for more information on this particular product, just click the link below.